What up, gang? Welcome back to another video on NFTs. Today, we're talking about Soul C and how you go about minting NFTs on the Soul C network. You're probably wondering what is Soul C. Soul C is aiming to be the OpenSea.io, the NFT marketplace, the go to marketplace on the Solana network. Okay, and why is that important? Is because we are sick of Ethereum. Ethereum, just quite frankly, as a layer one, hey, great. You were great when you started, but now the mining fees, the gas costs associated with buying NFTs, creating NFTs, creating an account, initializing an account on its own is just ridiculous, okay? And people are moving away from that because, well, there's better stuff out there now. And Solana is the one, is the network that we need to be hopping on board. Join soulsea.io, start minting your stuff over there, start selling your NFTs over there because you're doing yourself a favor by minting low-cost artwork on the blockchain or whatever you want to mint and also you're doing a favor to those that are buying your artwork or your nft because they're not going to pay an arm and a leg just for the gas prices and um, it also is great for big projects that are launching on solana there's no gas wars right imagine being the 9999th person um, to mint uh, an NFT for a project project that only has 10,000 and the whale comes in last moment jacks up his price for gas you know so he gets priority and uh, you being the last one, you know, you lose all that money that you've had to pay for the gas fees. So gas will suck. Ethereum right now is crap. So join Soul C, join Solana. So this is what we're going to do today. We're going to walk through the interface. We're going to show you a little bit about what uh, Soul C is aiming to do, what it looks like, and uh, we're going to mint something. I've actually minted something before, but I'll, I'll show you the process anyway because I wanted to experiment myself before I made the video. But one of the you know, call outs for Solsi is that they're saying they're the first minting platform that allows creators to embed copyright licenses. And what does that mean? That just means that if you go to the FAQ, I'll just open up a new tab, you'll see that um, it gives you a drop down option later on when you start minting something and it says you can license your NFT with specific um, rights for the person that buys it. And you can just read that here yourself. I won't go through it, but yeah, they're the first NFT marketplace that allows you to put a license in there. Now, first things first, you need to connect your wallet, right? Phantom is the wallet of choice for the Solana network. So you just download that extension of the, the Chrome um, store, whatever you want to call it. So obviously you want to send some Solana over before you start minting or doing any transactions because it's going to cost you some Solana. So you click on this, click on receive, it will give you your wallet address. Um, and what I did was I punched that into Binance and I just sent some money across. It cost me about 60 cents to send um, some a bit of Solana across, which is fine. I mean, better than Ethereum charging me 30 bucks just to send some money across right so only cost me 60 cents which is fantastic now first things first pretty clean layout interface is what you're familiar with you know like i said they're they're trying to be not trying to be hopefully they will be they'll overtake open c um being that they're on the solana network with scalability and efficiency and uh, minimal fees so not much going on at the moment but nonetheless they're new like i said literally launched a couple of hours ago distracted by that sorry um so they have a few collections though if you click on it it says zero are listed one of the big collections is the gener degenerate <laughs> apes at the moment and the floor price on that is like 119 solana and we know solana all times high all time high has been just killing it at the moment within the charts yeah solana is uh really expensive at the moment so Let's go and click on create NFTs. Now, create collection is pretty much similar to OpenSea, if you're familiar with that. You can create like a collection, a theme collection of NFTs or artwork, whatever it is. So if you click on that, you can obviously create your header, your icon image, the name of your collection, description, or there's socials for that collection, uh, probably an icon, a symbol, and then the different traits and we'll go through traits a little bit it's similar to properties right on OpenSea if you're familiar with that again so I'm just going to run through this really quickly with you guys so you know how to use it if you know how to use OpenSea then you're familiar with this but uh, you're probably wondering what it all looks like but I'll, I'll, I'll do it real quick for you anyway now I've already uploaded something so I downloaded this image on pixels don't worry I'm not planning to sell it 
Um, Pixels is a royalty-free site where you can use their license both for free or commercial personal uses, okay, through the Unsplash community um, licensing. So I'm not planning to sell this anyway, but shout out to Mr. Quang Nguyen Vin. Love this sunset picture. So let's go back. Uploaded the file, okay. Name it Sunrise. I named it Sunrise Seduction. Okay, and I just wrote a beautiful sunrise. Seller fee, it has to be a full number. It can't be 2.5, 2.8, or some silly number. It has to be a rounded number. So I just did two. The URL extension, so if you store that image uh, on uh, your own web, web page or like a, a storage site somewhere, then you can link it. But essentially, once it's minted, then it's just the contract. It's the, the digital deed to that uh, nft okay it just means that you own it now selection tab obviously this helps the buyer search your item more easily now this one is photo photography okay it's photography maybe you even do picture there's a few there that you can go through i don't know what your material is privilege i have no idea what privilege is but uh trading card you know sound music music theme blah 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 and license like i said before they're saying they're the first web page to offer this licensing kind of um, feature. So private use, non-commercial exploitation, reproduction, commercial exploitation. Like I said, I'm not planning to sell this, but because um, I just needed an image, I just um, taken one that is royalty free. So collection. So if you have already set up a collection, let's say I had a collection called photography, then I can put this in the photography collection. Now traits, we've all seen those Big NFT projects, 10,000 NFT projects that have, you know, rarity traits, right? Um, Space Punks, for example, purple hair, red background, eye patch, smoking a cigarette, laser eyes, whatever. So if you are setting up a project like that with many NFTs, with many traits, then you will need to create that trait system here, similar to the property system within OpenSea. So the interesting thing right now is I don't know if you can batch mint. I haven't seen that function anywhere. So no batch minting. I'm sure they'll roll that out eventually. At the moment, no option for that. So if you click submit, all right. Now I've already done this, but if you click submit, oh, okay, he wants me to put in description. So we're going to click submit and it's going to go through. Your NFT is minting. This can take a while. Check your wallet to approve the transaction. Phantom wallet pops up saying it's going to cost me 0.0044 Sol Solana to do that. 0 0.000, was it 44? So it's going to cost me six cents to mint that, okay? And then there's another transaction down here, 0 0.00146. That is literally 20 cents. So 26 cents odd. Now I'm going to cancel this because I've already done this before. But essentially you hit approve and it will go through the minting process for you. Now I'm just going to cancel that. So it says user rejected the request, obviously, because I don't want it because I've already done it. Like I said, you hit approve. It'll go through the minting process. And once you're done, you can click this tab right here in the web page and ta -da, your NFT will be uploaded here. So that's pretty cool. So if my calculations are right, it literally cost me like 26 cents or something like that to mint on the SolSea network, which is a far cry from OpenSea and Ethereum network. I know they've got the pol polygon element on OpenSea, but with Solana, you just don't have to worry about that. It's just it just feels so good that if I'm I'm wanting to buy an F NFT for a hundred dollars, then you know it's only going to cost me a hundred and two dollars max or something to buy the NFT, as opposed to you know jacking up the gas prices to to get it. So. Yeah, man. Look, Solana is the way to go at the moment. It's the flavor of the month. SolC.io is literally just launched a few hours ago. People will be aping in. Okay, they just need a few big projects. Degenerate Ape Academy is one of their big projects. Floor price at the moment is already 129.99 Solana. And uh, how much is that? 129 Solana. It's $18,000 for a degenerate ape at the moment. The floor price will probably just continue to go up as SolC becomes more popular. And trust me, it will become more popular. Who could say no to a lower gas prices, literally zero to none comparatively to OpenSea? You know, a, a pretty simple, straightforward minting process and clean, clean uh, interface as well. So it can only get bigger, badder, stronger, faster, 
and just, uh, you know, OpenSea took a while to get to where they are. Solana is going to get even better just because of the features that Solana Network offers. So with that said, guys, hopefully you've you thought about moving your artwork to another platform. And SoulSea, I think, is the one with Solana hitting all-time highs and uh, just the popularity of Solana at the moment with its scalability and its efficiency. I think it's going to be a good thing. And like you've seen, simple process. Even an idiot like me could figure it out. So I'm sure an intelligent person like you will have no issues whatsoever. So with that said, guys, enjoy enjoy your NFT journey. Hope, hope you're having fun. I know the hype is crazy. 1.3 million for an Ether rock, a JPEG rock. I know the world's gone crazy. But uh, you know what? We're just riding the wave. See what happens next. So until next time, take it easy, enjoy, and uh, check out soulc.io. See you guys. Bye.